moments when an idea makes all the difference, complicated cataract cases. Some situations are quite normal in traumatic cases, such as corneal scarring, rupture capsules and posterior synechia, and also poor red effects. Achieving good visualization is critical for great results, also requiring iris walks. It's important to perform the FACO in an extremely gentle manner, trying to preserve zonals, interior and posterior capsules. Most of the times, it's difficult to perform cortex aspiration, worsened by corneal opacities and also poor red reflex. A great idea is to turn off the microscope light and turn on an optical fiber illumination just near the cornea or any side port and try to perform cortex aspiration using this unique position of light mode. We choose fixing an IOL at the sclera at the 12 o'clock position and secure the second epic in the sulcus in the inferior capsule support and we use a three-piece IOL and perform the Hoffman pocket technique. Through a small incision, we are able to introduce a three-piece foldable IOL and then rescue the trailing apke only to tie it. Some surprise may happen as we perform some anterior vitrectomy. And unexpected complications part of this kind of procedure. Improvisations can lead to situations such as losing the trailing haptic. Being from a potential IOX plan can be quite frustrating. When we face a dislodged haptic before any using explained techniques, we try to fix it back to into the lens. Keep a side force against the IOL while twisting the aptic to the lens. This is the key to the success of this kind of intervention. <laughs> 